this is this is all the crew patches from the complete Apollo program. Um, the crew always designs the patches, and we would take them and silk screen them, and then we would buy a roll of them and we'd put them on the spacesuits. And then when they came back from their flight, we'd take them off of the spacesuits and get and and have them frame and present it to them. But these came off of the same road. These are not the ones that flew on the flights, but they came from the same road, the same material, the same silk screening. And if you look real close, you can see several of them were signed by the crew. Particularly the Apollo 11 crew with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. They're all three of the guys signed that. And you and got these. This is, right. this, and they're in your possession. They're, they are mine. <laughs> there, I only know of one other set. There was one of the guys that worked for me, and I could have done it. I just didn't do it. But one of the guys that worked for me had every one of these patches, and he had every crew member sign it. Which we, were, we worked so closely with the crew members, it wasn't any problem to ask them to sign the patches whenever they came back. But at that time, that didn't seem important. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I understood. Understood. Uh, this picture here is okay. at one time in the space program, it, we developed a unit that looks like a chair. And you can see kind of the way the astronaut sits in that chair. And you don't need tethers. These guys are free flying, like Buck Rogers. Most people don't know who Buck Rogers is. But the, the concept was that if there was a satellite that was disabled, and some of them do, where they run out of fuel and other problems, we would, we would send it over the guys. He would fly out to the satellite. He would latch onto it, bring it back, and put it in the shuttle payload bay and repair it and then throw it back outside. Later on, we found that you could drive the shuttle right up to the satellite you wanted to repair, and you didn't need this. But this was a neat And did unit. they, did and they have for, to use that often? Did they actually ever use we it? We used it on about off? three different flights to, to uh, rescue satellites. And on one of them, it was an Intel satellite. And Intel satellites are, are big. They look like like a car up there. And the concept was the astronaut was, was going to go outside and we had a long bar. He was going to lash it onto the satellite and then we'd bring it back into the shuttle payload bay and do the repair on it. But we found out when the guy tried to, to attach the latch to it, because it's zero G, the satellite just moved away and the latches wouldn't work. So we, just, we came up with a concept of putting three astronauts outside, drive the shuttle right up to the back of the satellite, and the guys would reach out with their hands and put it in the, in the payload bay. And it did, and it worked fine. Very interesting. I've uh, not heard that story people, yet. People, no, have, people have no idea how complicated space is and to work in space. Like I was talking about that satellite. Satellites are spinning at about six revolutions a minute. And they spin satellites for two reasons, to stabilize them and also so that the temperature um, gets even around, stays even around the satellite. Because up there in space, if you're in the sun, the temperature is 175 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're in the shade, it's a minus 175 degrees. And, and I didn't mention that when I was talking about these. Uh, cover on the spacesuits, but that those covers protect the guy inside the spacesuit from those kind of temperatures, from a plus 175 to a minus 175, and you can change it that quick. I don't think just she, I think she didn't like this one. Oh, yeah, you know, no, what I'm just do, you, she can cut all of it out. Here's what I think. What I'd like to do <laughs> is we'll do our interview and we cut. And then we'll do a second video Bonus footage. and a little bit more, learn a little bit more about space, yeah. maybe. Uh -huh. Billy's sharing a little bit more about space and we'll do that as with it. I think it'll be wonderful.